Part 1. White Clouds. Pegasus Moon. Throne of Knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Setteth enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. It's time to start anew. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the Holy Tomb. To think that there was such a vast space beneath the monastery all this time. 
It's hard to imagine that any of these enormous contraptions are of this world. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator, the goddess Sothis, sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Well? It was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Stop right there! <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you move, your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> What's the Imperial Army doing here? Wait, does he work for the Flame Emperor? So the Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. I never thought that possible. Edelgard, did you know about this? Yes. In fact, I gave the order. I am the Flame Emperor. I guess that's the end of play in school, Lady Edelgard. I mean, your majesty. Get to work, everyone. The Crest Stones belong to us now. And take those filthy bones, too. Insolence! You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor. Destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator! Wait, what's the meaning of this, Edelgard? You... made use of us? Why? I'm sorry, my teacher. I cut this path, and now I must follow it. My friends, I ask that all of you stay back. It is not my intention to fight you. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresfeld, I command you to collect the Crest Stones. If anyone attempts to stop us, kill them. I will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the Holy Tomb. The Crest Stones are in the caskets! Open every last one of them! The Holy Tomb must not be desecrated. Protect as many of the Crest Stones as you can. Take away every last one of those Crest Stones. That is enough. Do you even know what those stones are? <laughs> I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Make them suffer. What's wrong? <laughs> Wait. No. I was just following orders. I just... That's an embarrassment. Sally Ford! To work. Despite what I said, I have no intention of killing you. So why not stand down and get out of my way? Take me all you want. <laughs> Nothing personal. So, 
The end has come. You have disappointed me, Edelgard. To think that a descendant of House Heresmelk would dare betray the Holy Church. So, it is my teacher who stands in my way. I always knew it would come to this. Professor, kill Edelgard at once. She is a danger to all of Fodlan. Such a rebellious heart cannot be allowed to keep beating. I will withdraw, for now. Come, Hubert. To flee is futile, wicked girl. The Church of Seros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished. You have defiled the Holy Tomb, dishonored the Goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the goddess's soil. Come, Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. Edelgard and Hubert have disappeared. They will surely return to the Empire. The Knights have been dispatched to search and investigate. If there is any movement, we will know. We cannot ignore the possibility that there will soon be open hostilities between us and the Imperial Army. When that happens, are you prepared to fight your own? If you wish to return to the Empire, I will not stop you. That is your choice to make. If Edelgard is acting afoul, then we have no choice but to strike her down! It's up to us to stop them. We have a war on our hands! I have no interest in fighting, not even for her. Yet. How are we supposed to decide just like that? Adi, Hubie, I'm sorry about this, but I'm siding with the professor. Her doings are wrong. It is our duty to make everything right. I am sure you all have much on your mind. I encourage you to confer with your professor and make a decision. You have until the fighting commences. Professor, I am depending on your strength for the safety of Fodlan. The leaders of the Church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire. To rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlan. Long ago, they divided the Empire to create a kingdom. And then, divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the Goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Fodlin to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. I cannot believe it. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlan to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. <laughs> 